Good morning everybody from the Philippines in Manila, but I am going to Taal uh, Volcano. So today is gonna be, I think I said it right, Taal. So right now I'm in a little shopping center. It's kind of cool, they got little food areas for you. So if you can, you guys can see they have, uh, they have like chicken over here, but one caught my attention. So they have a bunch of chicken, which I'm in love with the chicken and they have a lot of different types of foods. I'm gonna go into the store right now and get a Coke Zero. So we'll get that. Hello. So I'm gonna go and get a, I gotta get a Coke Zero because I am gonna about to eat something. So unfortunately, McDonald's is, um, it's breakfast. I don't like breakfast. So I ordered myself a little pizza and, but I saw something very interesting after I get this Coke Zero. Where is it? There we go. Cool. Nice and cold. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna get some Coke Zero and then I'm gonna eat some food and then we're off to a huge hike in the mountains. I'm about to fall. So I will show you guys what I'm about to eat. It's very interesting what they have over here. I've never heard it. it's called like Jamaican something. I got my Coke Zero, but check this out. I've never heard of this. So it's actually kind of cool that you got like little Jamaican authentic um, like beef and all this stuff, cheese, tuna. Hello. What's your, what's your, what's your, is this just, what's your favorite? What's your favorite? Yeah, which one do you like the most? Is what's, there's no pork in that, right? There is pork? Do you have one with no pork? Only beef, sir. That, that's only beef, right? It's only beef, right? There's no, there's no pork. Okay, so that's only beef? Okay, no pork, no nothing, okay. Can I get, uh, can I get a cheesy beef? Yeah, let me get one. Yes, so I've never seen this. They're called, uh, they're in Jamaica, so they're hot and fresh. And um, it's called a cheesy beef pintabu. I've never had that. Thank you. How much is it? 69, okay, cool. So it's kind of cool to see, um, I have so much change that I'm trying to get rid of it, but because I'm waiting, I don't have any more change. Change for 100. There you go. Thank you. So I've never had a Jamaican patty, so this is gonna be my first time having a Jamaican patty for the first time. Thank you. So first time to have a Jamaican patty and I've never had it, so I'm gonna see what it's like. I did order like my first beef pepperoni pizza, but let's try it and see what it's like. Bismillah. Mm. Wow, it's spicy. Kind of will get, you know those, what is it, those taquitos that you get like the rolled cheese you get at 7-Eleven, just like that with a little bit more spice. Wow. Mm. Really good. Ooh, the cheese hits really good. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a, like a cheesy beef pot pocket. Mm. Wow. First time ever trying that. Oh, that's actually really flavorful. Mm. Very happy with the um, with this. So I'm gonna go get my food, and then I have a hike on top of Taal Mountain. So you guys better be ready because this hike is not gonna be a joke, and I need all the carbs I can get. Mm. Well, go, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta show you guys the craziest view. Uh, we went into a restaurant, and look at this, y'all. Holy crap. I have never seen anything so nice in my life. Wow, that is beautiful. That is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So that is the volcano. And as you can see, it's like from a movie scene. That is so beautiful, wow. And then you have the restaurant right here and you can eat and then also see the views over here. But wow, such a beautiful view. I think we're gonna go down there and we gotta see. So I wanna see if we can get to that volcano. I highly doubt we can, but we'll see if we can do the hike and see. Cause they won't, there's supposedly is boats that can take us there, but look at the views guys. 
Unbelievable. It's crazy. Beautiful. Wow. That is a nice view. It is so hot today too. Holy moly. Look at that. Unbelievable. So the coolest thing is um, when you're going in to check out that view, I stopped at a place called um, Jaylee's and it's kind of cool. They have their own natural snacks. Look at this. They have their own tea. They have their own cashew roasted. They have glazed chips. They have everything guys. They have banana chips. They, I guess they make it on their own fresh, but look at this one. So this is salted potato chip spicy, and it's uh, halal certified, which is awesome to see that. So, a so the cool thing is, is, as you guys can see, they have a lot of snacks, they have barbecue snacks, they have everything. Looks delicious, honestly. Like, look at this, this is so cool. And then they have candy, and they package the candy themselves, and they have gummy, gummy burgers which is interesting tree rocks they have gummy bears look at the special sweet and sour spicy I mean they have their own candy that's so cool as you guys can see they got their own chocolates oh yes these are like one of my favorites the gummy candies the orange ones marshmallows I mean that's awesome to see that King Kong chips, so I'm guessing this is spicy. And then you have the original salted eggs, all halal. It's 150 for the salted egg potato chips. I might actually grab one. I want the original, there we go, salted egg potato chips. I might I might grab one, but I'm not sure. But we'll see if there's anything else I can grab. But, but this, this market is so cool, and then you can walk out, and then you could see all of the outdoor of the uh the volcano because currently it's active so you got to be careful i'm going to try to see if i can get on a boat and get over there <laughs> so beautiful wow what a Woo. super excited to see what if we can get down there so now we have to find a boat and hopefully this person with the boat will take us there but it's a lot of work just to get down there because the active volcano it's active so we can't hike it but we can definitely see the volcano on a boat and it would probably be a great view so we're getting to the island and we're negotiating for a boat Okay. 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 Meron bang ibang nagpupunta doon para may ka-share kami? Dalawa lang kami. Kaso man, di rama. Kasi ba, hindi naman tayo wait dito. Kasi ba, hindi wait dito. Kaso sabi na lang nyo ma'am, tawaran na lang nyo. Pero pag, pag Bull Island? Hindi mo, parang 5,000? Huh? Dalawa na magbuha mo tayo. Hello po. Kaya sa mga tayo kayo. Kung si ma'am daw, puro ba? Kaya nga mag-ang sabi sa inyo, ang kausapin nyo, yung manager judge ko. Kagayin ko na lamang kayo, wala lamang po kayong kayong masang feeling na sa inyo. Tapos natawaran niyo po ito. Okay. Sige, pag-iisipan ko muna. Mag-uusap ko lang. Ah, sige po. Hello po. Ano ba kayo? Ah, pa. Gusto niyo po sa babay? Uusap na. Sige po. May dala po akong kahon. Kahon? Sige po. Ayun, pwede. Malaki po ba? Ayun mo, may dala mo. Ayun. O saan po? Saan pa kayo pupunta? Ay, hindi ko alam sa kay kuya. <laughs> Mag-aano po sana kami mag-bontataan. Okay, so, trying to figure everything out for our negotiations, but it seems like everybody keeps on stopping in front of us. Sige po, sige po. Ay, sige po. Ay, sige po. Sige po. Sige po. I'm gonna give her a ride. Ay, ito tulo. Ako na lang. Ako na lang. They were random, they were going to give somebody a ride. Yeah. Hello. Walaikum salam. Um, yeah, yeah, Muslim. Yeah. Walaikum salam. Getting right. Like okay. She's going down and she's asked, like, if we're going down. She said, okay. 
She's going down, so she needs a ride, so we're going to help her out. Inshallah. But it's your mom, Yeah, yeah, no problem. Problem this, problem this, no problem. And they left the box in the bag. There you go. So we're going to help somebody go down and also try to get on a boat ride. So what happened? Ah, uh, okay. Salamat. Now he's going to bring us to the resort where okay. uh, where the boats are. Okay. They have packages there, and he said we just deal with them. Okay. Yeah, and if uh, no hard feelings, if we go and if we don't. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Puya. Thank you, Puya. Thank you, Puya. Um, oh, Pretty cool. We have somebody that we're going to give a ride down there and also and see the boat, like, how much they charge the, for the boat ride. Oh, Let's see. Look at the views. It's so awesome. Can't wait to get there soon. Cool little breeze. The volcano erupted and you guys evacuated, right? Yes. Yeah. It was tough out here. It's, I mean, it's really nice though. It's a beautiful place, but now. I hope the volcano doesn't erupt again. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's moving, but yeah. what can we do? This is a natural... Uh, this is nature, right? Nature. Yep. You cannot resist the nature. You this know? is very true, very yeah. true. If you love your nature, the nature will love you. Also. That's very true. But if you abuse them, uh, Nature can do a price. lot. Yep. Everything has a price, right? It does. Everything has a price. So I felt like the so what happened was the driver I don't know why he's driving us but he will bring you to the cottage perhaps where uh, there is a canoe and in the uh, the boat. Gotcha. The so he's taking us to the motorboat, but I felt like we could have just found it ourselves. Yeah, but yeah. it is what it is. I feel like they're just making their money, but that's fine. Uh, when you Ask, but if we did not stop, you will not be riding with us. Uh, yeah. oh, that's oh, Hasibi yeah. Kismat. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. Kismat, think, Kismat. Yeah. So a lot of people, um, as you can see, it was a little far for the lady to walk and she had a lot of stuff. So it's good that we stopped. And even though we're helping this gentleman out with a little bit of cash for driving, we're helping an uh, elderly lady to get to where she needs to be. But Thank you. you're very mm -hmm. welcome. But the good thing is that, as you can see, there's been a lot of landslides and it's been crazy out here. So you gotta be careful with the landslides. And they don't have a lot of tourists out right now, so they're trying to charge us 5,000, but that's way too much. So we're gonna try to go down to about 2,500, but this is what it is when you go to these places. They, they, they don't understand, like if you're just good with the tourists and don't charge us a big price, everybody will ask, where is this at? So they can come out as well. But we'll see how it goes once we get down there and we negotiate. But look how beautiful it is. It's all green. Very beautiful. A lot of water landslides. A lot of rocks. You gotta make sure nothing falls on us. Yep, that's the only thing that scares me. I love my bike. So here we are just driving around. It's a big dangerous curve. That's crazy. They had a typhoon. They had everybody fixing the volcano. Yeah. They've had everything and they gotta keep on evacuating. It's crazy. This is the life. This is the life, yes. Yeah, life is so beautiful. It is beautiful. beautiful. Yep, life is an adventure and it's full of it, that's for sure. But man, look at this. It's a nice little drive. Wow. Nice We're almost there. Check this out, everybody. Wow. Unbelievable. You have the waters. You have just, and all, and what's in those, uh, in the water is fish cages. So you'll see like these little fish cages in the water, which you can't miss, but it's such a beautiful scenic route, as you can see. Philippines is looking really nice today, and it's a little humid, but we'll survive. But we're almost there minute by minute we're getting lower and lower into the um, to the water 
Look at that though. You got the palm trees right here. He's just driving around. You got the water over there. Super beautiful. And uh, so far, it's been good. So we dropped the lady off and it was kind of cool because she was Muslim. I didn't know she was gonna be out here. She was really nice. And basically, instead of trying to pay $5,000 to these fishermen, she gave us a secret route. And now we are going towards the secret route and trying to find a fisherman. And hopefully we can just be like, can you do us a favor? And we'll pay them, um, we'll pay them $1,000. And That's they'll it. just show up all of us, 1,000, 1,500. Compared to like charging all the people that are next to the tourist area, we're just gonna help a fisherman out. Cause you know, they're not there to, they're working to catch fish. They're not working to, to take advantage of like the, um, the tourists. So 5,000 is a lot. So we are gonna go somewhere where it's literally a lot cheaper and hopefully, inshallah we find them and we give a good man a nice little tip and it's better that way because then they don't expect it and that's what i love about people that are super humble but i mean look at the scenery already ladies and gentlemen it is it is already looking really nice really good view and my driver's like a fast and a furious over here <laughs> so yep uh ladies and gentlemen remember to drive safe remember that you are taking care of somebody else so inshallah oh my god the road literally this is the road that so they had a tornado yeah. so they had like a tornado and they also had a volcano erupt so all the roads and everything have completely like deteriorated there's holes everywhere the the people got their homes destroyed and they're they're just used to it and they rebuild over and over so it's kind of crazy to see like them repairing after there was a there was a storm it was like literally a a straight typhoon and then they'd have to deal with the uh they have to deal with the uh volcano as well and it erupted they got evacuated but look at this this is crazy i don't i don't even know what that is they must have how do we get through that oh my god the whole road fell wow i think we'll get through it okay anxiety through the roof but look at that ladies and gentlemen yeah, oh. like, you so pay close. attention to the road i pay attention <laughs> to the volcano you see this every day <laughs> literally gonna get me killed all right so we're gonna get through this and we're almost through it nice inshallah there we go and we made it and alhamdulillah that we made it and now we are trying to go to that beautiful volcano soon and you guys will see hopefully we'll be able to get in the water and see everything from a beautiful picture and a beautiful scene it's like from a movie and this is what i love to do so you can look at the views guys holy moly it is epic right there breathtaking views as you can see all of that should be the volcano right there that i'm going to erupt and hopefully it doesn't burn my cheeks but we're still going over there we're still trying to find the actual place where we can get a boat so we're still on the way but I mean, you guys gotta see the views. Like, this is what I live for. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Holy moly. Unbelievable. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. So beautiful. Buso, Buso, I love you too. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. What a view of the whole entire mountain and forest. Yep. This is a beautiful view, guys. And we're almost there. I could smell the water, but look at it, it's so beautiful. Super, super, it's still hot outside though, but this is well worth it. Luckily it's covered by the clouds, but I mean, this is a beautiful scene right here. I'm trying to get to wrap all the way around it. I really want to climb it, but I can't, but we'll see what we can get into. Here's the crazy part. So we found some fishermen. Um, I had to take my shirt off because it's really humid and now the fishermen are actually gonna take us So this is kind of cool that we're gonna hop on a boat. We we only paid for like a thousand I'll take care of them, but it's kind of cool that the fishermen are actually gonna take us ourselves So it's nothing fancy nothing crazy, but we are gonna go that's it and we'll see uh, Where they take us you know what I mean? So it's kind of cool. They're all covered in stuff. How you doing guys? What's going on brother? So these are the fishermen and then we want to go over there to the boat and see what it's like and see if they can take us all the way back there. So this is the boat that we're taking and then we're going to climb in the boat and hopefully we'll make it in there without me falling. 
and then uh, once I get in there, we're just gonna go all the way around and we're gonna circle the whole mountain and the, and the uh, volcanoes and the uh, crater. So wait till we get in there. Um, I said hi, but no one introduced themselves, so we'll do what we can. You go first. Okay. I will follow you. And that's it. Oh, we just go through there. Cool. There we go. And we're in, ladies and gentlemen. First boat in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Box. First time going in the boat, and then we're gonna cruise around. Let's okay. see. They're gonna get a box. A box? For seating, because this is too hard. Okay. It is. And what we're it? not, and we're not wearing the proper gear. Yeah. Hell yeah. This is gonna be cool. Look at that. Around the swamps. That's it. Say hi, man. Say hi to the camera. <laughs> Everybody's usually shy with the camera, but it's always good to see cool people that are just ready to vibe out. And they brought actually some boxes. Hell yeah, cool. And then uh, we're just gonna sit on those. Awesome help. Mm. So now we're gonna be. Oh. We're trying to get out of here. There we go. And we're off. And uh, we'll see you guys on the other side. I've never been really on a boat ever in my life. This is gonna be my first time checking it out. Shouts out to the drivers. Really cool. First time. And we're off, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. You know, this, this reminds me of that Pablo Escobar scene. You see the birds up there? They're just sitting out there on the very top. You see all the fishermen out here collecting fish? It's a cool little vibe. Awesome little vibe. Wow, really nice. Look at all that, y'all. Holy moly. Wow. It's so beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. So beautiful. All the fishes. So, there it is right there. Wow. Look at that. I wish we could hike that, but right now they won't let us, but it is a beautiful vibe right now. It's really nice and it feels good. Like I'm super excited that I'm out here. A little cloudy, but it feels so good because the sun is covered. But look at it. And I think the volcano should be over here. And then that was where, I think that's where the crater is, but I could be wrong, but volcano is somewhere here. I think it's that, but I could be wrong. So you see everything out here. And then this is where these fishermen are. They grab their fish, so they catch fish all day over here. And I mean, it's unlimited fish, so why not, right? And as we get are getting closer and closer, the volcano's around there. And then you have everything over here. It's so beautiful. And it's an active volcano, so if anything does happen, we might have to run. So just give you a heads up. Oh. And then you see the fishermen over here too. Just working, always saying hi. They're gonna, they're gonna bring us to the fishes. Look at the fish, dude. That's crazy. And they're catching fish, are going crazy right there. They just catch fresh fish. That's what I'm saying. So you see all the people. They just stand there. They catch the fish. It's actually pretty smart to do it out here. There's so many stations over here. Everybody's making a good living. So good for them. Mashallah. But you see all these are stations for fishes. And then you see it, you know? Beautiful. As you guys can see, we're getting closer and closer, but this is the whole thing right here. So it erupted a couple weeks ago, so I feel an eruption, but I think it was the food I ate earlier. But look at it, freaking beautiful. Awesome, beautiful, beautiful. All that. So it dried up probably because the volcano erupted so it killed all the grass over here. Um, I don't think that's the volcano so you're good. But uh, I would love to climb that one day but it's actually really nice. Scenic route. Very beautiful. You see all the trees in the mountains over there. Really cool. Really really nice. 
and then they got old homes over here which are still here which is crazy they still stood up there's people that live right there that's amazing that they're still living here imagine you go through the, the eruption you guys gotta leave your home they're literally on the edge of the water so they can probably get on a boat and get out and evacuate that's crazy but look at it wow that's crazy you still got people still living here on the edge they built their homes right at the edge of the water you got the uh the buildings and then you have dogs they still have dogs here and then they got their boat in case they need to evacuate but it's crazy and then i'm guessing the volcano is like over there somewhere so wow that's crazy and look at the dogs they're just cruising around families living out here and they just hop in the water whenever they need help but look at it they got a far way to go all the way over there so it's pretty crazy to see all this but wow that is insane they got a bunch of dogs over here holy there's like four or five they just walk through like it's nothing through the water that's crazy and they just follow us and then you can see they collected all the wood over here just to stay warm at night i'm guessing and uh, wow super super beautiful shouts out to the uh to the drivers taking us over there man awesome wow <laughs> so you see people on the beach on this side taking care of the fish this is where you don't want to be when that volcano erupts again so they had a lot of ashes they had a lot of evacuation so it was just a couple weeks ago but look at this it's crazy you see all the birds and the swans over there just sitting over there there's a bottle with the message <laughs> and look at that all the swans are over there that's crazy you may not see them but i could see them there's a lot of them over there they probably just grabbing fish all day and then you see the families living out here that's unbelievable man that's crazy look at how beautiful it is though guys so beautiful unbelievable philippines is becoming like one of my favorite countries to visit because there's still so much history and the food is amazing and uh, just everybody's so nice and i think my food fell asleep yeah i fell asleep this is your guys' fried chicken from Jollibee, Mwah. the best fried chicken ever. In America, it's not that good. In in uh, Philippines, uh, Mazarap in the Philippines. Mazarap, Mazarap, your chicken, yeah. Your chicken is really good, man, it's really good. It's crunchy. It's crunchy, and it's juicy. It's juicy. <laughs> I could and eat it till I die. Like, I could eat it till I die. And it's really good. <laughs> yep, it's the best chicken. If you haven't had Jollibee over here in the Philippines, they had the best fried chicken so far, hands down, out of every country I went. Seriously, but look at that. Everybody's working, everybody's saying hi. They literally live there. Is that their home? Is that where they live? No, oh, that's not where they live. That's not their home, right? This is their hangout place. Oh, it's their hangout <laughs> place. That's pretty cool. Everybody's just hanging out. Look at everybody just coming out. Everybody's just chilling, hanging out. Hi. Look at the dog, it's just kicking it. Look at everybody saying hi. Everybody's so friendly in the Philippines. Everybody's so nice. <laughs> Gotta love it. Even, the, even if they're paddling, they're, they're smiling at you. Yeah, they're so nice. <laughs> it's so nice over here. And then as you move forward, and this is it, everybody. Welcome to the Philippines. Super beautiful. Take a boat ride, trust me. If you take a boat ride, take it with these guys. These are the guys you want to go with on the boat ride. They're really nice people. Awesome. Wow. Everything. Wow. Oh, he said there's two craters. Okay. So the one that's active is the other one behind the, the, the peak. Okay. And then closer to us, uh, there's another crater and it erupted in 1965. Gotcha. Okay. So I'm starting to learn this. Okay. Yeah. There's the educator. So behind it is the crater and then there's a second one that erupted back in 1965. The recent one is actually behind this mountain, so I just got the new information. So, and as you can see, just boats over here, and you got people, and this is all fishing here, so it's actually really awesome. So beautiful. So, what happened was after the volcano erupted, these rocks right here were all formed because of the lava. So, that's kind of crazy how it went all the way over here. But look at the island behind it. Look at all of it. 
It's just crazy. So a lot of rock formations all because of uh, the volcano erupted and this is where it all came down to and this is all new from the volcano. It's crazy. Wow. Unbelievable. So beautiful. Very, very beautiful in the Philippines so far. Look at all the swans and all the birds over here. It's crazy. There's so many of them out here. Wow. They just, this is their little hangout spot. Exactly like uh, Narcos, when I watched the show Narcos. Just a bird just sit right there. If y'all remember that show, that show was amazing. So they just sat there. Beautiful. You can see how that's gray over here. This is all green, so it's new grass growing after the whole volcano and everything. But if you look, see how it's dead over there? All this started turning green again. So, you know, and people just live this way. It's crazy. Volcano erupts, people get out evacuated, and then they come back again, and they live again, and then it happens again. It's crazy. It's, it's insane, but this is the life people live, man. It's crazy. But they're happy, that's all that matters. And it's getting a little bit more where the water is becoming a little bit stronger. But you can see it is still beautiful. But this is the end of the journey of the volcano and the crater. Um, but as you can see, my camera is still getting wet because the water is getting, the tide is getting a little bit stronger. So we had to go back to shore. Shit's getting dangerous, y'all. Finally made it. Uh, we freaking made it. Whew. That was a trip. Thank you guys. There you go. There you go. Got it. There you go. Don't fall now. And we finally made it. Oh, let me get my backpack. Uh, oh, the smell. Of. Ooh, that was a great experience of just being on a boat and just relaxing. Super soothing. Now, let me see uh, my backpack. Oh. Yeah. What do you need? Uh, let me make sure I pay them. We'll be. Um, how much did we say? One five. One five? Yeah. Okay. Clear is asking. It's two hours. You have to add 500. I said, don't worry. We'll, we'll bring more people here. Yep. <laughs> That's what I would have done. I give it to you. Yeah. 1500. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. And it'll be on my. Uh, it'll be on my. 500. 500 more. It's 1500. Yeah, and just so you know, there's gonna be you're gonna have you're gonna have more you're gonna have more customers. Let me see. I don't think I do. I don't think I do. But I'll check. Do you have dollars? Let me check in the car. Let me pull out over there. I'll be right back. So they wanted 1500 which they got. I'm gonna go tip these guys. I just need to put my bag in there and then uh, I'm gonna be right back. Let me check out my cash. But uh, yeah, they want they want more money. Oh, there's your key. Here. And then I'll check it. So they wanted, it was 1500 and then he's like, it was two hours. I was like, that's not my fault. So now uh, I'm just gonna tip their, the drivers over there and take care of them. But um, that, was the, that was the deal was 1500 so the price was 1500 and the funniest thing about it was like even though the price was 1500 the the manager or whoever the owner was like oh um you guys went more than two hours i'm like i didn't ask for two hours i just asked for the 1500 no disrespect to them but you know they're they're doing their thing so i gave them 1500 plus 100 tip to their riders and that's just you know you gotta you gotta pay you gotta tip them so it was better to pay 1700 than we almost paying like four to five thousand dollars on just everything so they were humble they were nice enough they took the money and that's it so um i hope you guys enjoyed this journey and just remember tomorrow is never promised so enjoy your life to the fullest and uh just remember tomorrow is another day so you guys have a wonderful day i'll see you guys later inshallah while journey over